Good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. I am on the nap stroll with the boys. Do you hear all these birds? I'm like confused. Like they're chirping so loud. Like I just saw them playing in a puddle. Maybe they're just happy. Anywho, it doesn't look like any napping is taking place just yet. But until then, we'll just enjoy our stroll. Jamesy's still asleep. Teddy's gonna join me while I finish getting the vlog up. Well, I did it. An hour outside of the house. Um, I told Peter I probably won't go to like a cafe or something every day just because it gets expensive. <laughs> and we have a library nearby, so I could go there as well. Um, like I said, probably not every day, but just good time to work on things that I haven't been able to do. I just made some new Instagram story graphics and uh, yeah, basically that was it. And like, it took, it took the full hour. So, um, I really liked where I ate too. I didn't really show inside. We'll have to go back and really show it off. If I didn't say it's called sugar blow. Um, so much stuff there. I had um, an empanada. It is Venezuelan food, um, but it had beans and shredded beef and plantains in it. So yummy. So I'm headed home. And honestly, with how busy we were this weekend, it'll probably be a catch up night. Um, but I feel, I feel energized. I feel excited to like put more of myself in back into the vlog. Um, and yeah, I love, I think, I think it goes to show with how many years we've been doing this, how much we truly, truly love it. And again, just making it, um, making it as good as it can be is something that makes me excited. So I hope that you can see that and that as I start to, um, take time to do more that it shows. How are you, Dad? Good. Snoozy? Tired. A little pre-run nap? Wee! Evie's unsure about it. Teddy's loving it. Wee! Oh, crash. Wee! <laughs> oh, just a simple joy. <laughs> Hand to foot. Hand to foot. Teddy loves it. Hand to foot. Are you getting a tooth? 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 Oh, goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful skyline. My phone says it's 72, but there's no way it's that warm. It's even cooler with that with, right on the lake with this breeze. So my long run on Sunday didn't pan out because of the weather, but I'm hoping the weather helps me out today and tomorrow because I didn't realize it. But last Sunday was supposed to be a 15 mile that turned into a six. And then today, tomorrow, Thursday, which is usually like my hill, is the more extravagant hill of my training block. It's a seven mile, 10 mile, four mile. So. I'm in the middle of my seven mile right now. And then tomorrow before work, I'll run my 10 miles, hopefully in a very cool, not humid Chicago morning. And then I'll have a relaxing four miles on Thursday. 
three miles are off on Friday, three miles on Saturday, and then the big 20 miler on Sunday. Uh, Cause that'll be two weeks, I think, before the marathon, maybe three weeks. I think I do a 20 miler and then a half marathon. And then I think one more and then the following. So that would be like two more weekends after this weekend. So that's like three or four weeks, whatever it is. It's near when it comes to training. So enough rambling to milk this break here. Time to get the music going again and finish the other half of the seven miler. Thanks for joining me guys. You guys really do help me get these runs done. a red pepper, a green pepper, and some broccoli, just stirring up with some garlic, salt, and pepper. I am going to make this into like a brothy, I don't know, just yummy veggies on top of rice. I did stir the rice with my veggie spoon. That's why there's a little bit of leftovers in there. While that is cooking up, I am going to whip up a salad. This is the base of the dressing. It's really meant for like obviously it says wok sauce to cook stuff in, but it's really great flavor. And I like a sweet salad dressing. So I'm gonna use this as like a base for the dressing. So we got some of that in there. I'm gonna add in a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a tiny bit of olive oil. There's garlic, salt and pepper in there. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of red um crushed red pepper chopped up some romaine that's gonna go in there as well as a little bit of spinach and some tomato Alrighty, so i'm gonna start thickening this up i'm gonna add in some flour start with two spoonfuls i don't have any cornstarch a little foggy and i'm just gonna mix it until it's all coated Okay, added a third spoonful to get it all nice and coated. And then I'm gonna start adding veggie broth. I've added in a cup and a half of veggie broth. I'm gonna keep adding it until it's the consistency I want for a nice, a nice sauce over our rice. But adding that flour in will thicken it up nicely. Um, and then I'll taste it and add in probably some soy sauce and a lot of pepper. I forgot to mention, I already put in some ginger as well. I am home and all fresh. Seven miles done. Oh, nice. We're building walls and towers. I put James and Giant Peach on. I think James will get more interest. Oh, I can't talk. Interested in it once it goes to the claymation. And Sarah is cooking. This way, baby, sleeping. So my seven mile run went well. I think it went well. Um, I feel good during it. I felt good during it. I feel good after. Hopefully, the 10 miler tomorrow goes just as well. That'll set up my mental state pretty good for the 20 mile this weekend, which if anybody is a well-seasoned runner, and if you are a new runner, you should know this, that those longer runs like 8, 13, 18, 20, 26.2, uh, it's just as equally mental battle as it is physical. So I'm hoping for a good run tomorrow for the 10 miler to get me set up for the 20. Alrighty, I kick up the heat. I'm gonna let it boil for a bit and get the, the veggies nice and tender. And we're almost there. No, this is ah. What? You come to help me? No. No? No. What? No. <gasps> Tomato dance, ooh, ooh, he's relaxing, ooh, ooh. All right, here's the finished product. I think Sarah's been showing it on the vlog, but it's rice with delicious mushroom stuff on top. And a nice salad. 
Yay! Woo. Yeah. Yay! We got a big, tall glass of water and a Goose Island right some hands. Oh, you want some rice? Mmm, delicious. So we're just relaxing after dinner. We have some more things to do tonight. Like ketchup, like some dishes, like Peloton. Okay, we're just, this is, we're not gonna talk about that because we're having a relaxing time. Um, but Peter had a cruel thing happen to him. And our family member who just passed away, apparently you weren't friends with them on Facebook, but like Peter does not go on, on Facebook. Um, and he got a suggested friend, like someone that you might want to be friends with. Sad. Teddy's having a little bit of tummy troubles, but he seems to be better now. So what I actually came on here to say was I just recently saw a post saying that somebody didn't like social media because it was a place of extremes. Like you either saw people celebrating extreme victories and announcing things and of that nature, or you see um, like the opposite end of the spectrum, like sad things, you know, things that, I don't know, that you don't want to see. And so like, that's why social media isn't great. They said that they, what it lacks is the boring, the mundane, the everyday. And I had it like click in my head. I was like, Hey, that that's what we provide. The internet is that like middle ground of, you know, like it's obviously we share the highs and the lows, but like, that's what our daily blog is, is this like the ordinary extraordinary. And, um, it made me feel better about us posting a little bit like our life has been a little bit more chill and you know every everyday nature we've done a lot of fun things this summer but just adding to like the wholesome bucket on the internet that people people don't normally post about so i just thought i'd, I'd share that do you agree teddy uh. Yeah, this is your brother. <laughs> oh, big brother. For goodness sake, Teddy just found his. Oh, whoa, 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 he's kicking me. Did you find your feet? <coughs> wow. What a discovery. Whoa. Uh. Yeah? Whoa. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know. You silly. Silly. Oh, look at this hair. You can barely even see how crazy it is because the black background. Put it up a little bit so you can see it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, we're going to bed. Kids are asleep. Yeah, one of those nights where your to-do list gets cut short because we're prioritizing snoozing. I get to make our dining reservations for our Disney trip in the morning. I get to go run 10 miles. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.